Welcome back to our program, We Connect. Thank you very much for staying here with us because I'm going to go back to that chat we're having here. Stephen Lucia is my guest today. And if you like diamonds, I hope you're still watching. Stephen, thank you for not going anywhere. Now, um, in India, because since we are in Chennai, you're, you're going into other parts of India as well now. Hyderabad and Calcutta, uh, Kolkata is also on, on your map now. So eventually, do you see all of India being covered like this? You know, I do. Um, really? Because it's just such a wonderful uh, diamond market. Uh, as we've talked about, consumers yeah. inherently understand and love jewelry. Mm -hmm. uh, and as the country uh, increasingly succeeds in global competition, as it's certainly been doing, you know, we think the market will only get bigger. And so, as we say, we've started this year and, uh, with the forever mark in six markets. We'll probably double that next year. But, um, you know, we'll keep seeking cities where there are good jewelers uh, who believe they have customers who are interested in forever mark and in the long run will be everywhere. How do you single out uh, specific uh, jewelers in, in a city? I'd like to know what your selection yeah. process is. How does it work? Yeah, you know, it's a good question because what you want to do is to, is to have jewelers who can reach different groups of consumers effectively rather mm -hmm. than just uh, targeting one group. But there is one really common thing, and that is passion for diamonds. Really? Uh, the one thing we've, you know, we are both as a company, but even as individuals, we're just passionate about, uh, about diamonds. We love looking at them, we love wearing them, we love seeing other people wear them, and we love the people who we do business with who share that, that sense of it as, as a dream. The idea that we're actually lucky enough to be working with things that represent such important uh, moments, uh, important emotions uh, that people will cherish, they'll pass on for you know, generations to come. We're, we're sort of blessed by having that opportunity. So what we really seek are people who share that view. Because when you believe, when you believe that about a diamond, if you're in, you know, in the business side of it, then you treat it the right way. Right. But um, tell me, but uh, when, you go, when you're dealing with the jewelers here, they're not only dealing with diamonds. A lot of the jewelers here mostly are dealing with all, yeah. every kind of stone. So where does this passion come in at, at, at the level of the jeweler who's actually selling the diamonds? I, I really need to draw you yeah, out on that. Yeah, no, but it's, uh, it's so absolutely crucial because if they just think of this as another... Money. As, an, as money, they're not going to really be partners for us because, you know, selecting diamonds and giving your customers the trust, the sense of trust and confidence that it takes for someone to spend what is a lot of money, a lot it of is. their money on something that, you know, how do they understand truly the value? Mm. You need to have people who really understand that this is a dream that must be protected. And part of protecting it is making sure that you uh, are trusted by your customers, you deal with them fairly, you deliver value for them, and you help them to select the diamonds that are right for them. Mm. You know, we have a sort of saying that you, you know, you, and at Forevermark we've tried hard to, we say, go beyond the four C's. So the four C's tell you a little bit. Yes. It's quite useful. Most people know about carat That's weight right. and cut and clarity mm -hmm. and color. But when we select the diamonds, we go beyond that, looking for those things that actually we think set these, thing, these diamonds out as particularly beautiful. To us, beauty is the key. So when you look at it, you, you can feel that. But once you've done that, I've seen, and you, and you have a selection, different women will look at different diamonds and say, that's the one for me. And it's emotional. It's the way that they feel it. Almost like the diamond sings out to them and says, you know, I'm connected to you. That's and true. That, to us, that's what the dream is about. So we need jewelers who understand that mm -hmm. and who create an environment with their customers so that, you know, what I call emotional process of selecting can happen and recognize that for the person buying it, and again, it doesn't ma matter to me whether it's a, you know, a small little diamond or one of the world's biggest, mm -hmm. you know, to that person at that's that time, true, you know. these are some of the most precious things in the world. And, mm -hmm. and that's the most important thing. Uh, well, I can, um, completely we agree with this. I have to completely agree with you. Um, now, you diamond cutters, I do know that you have 
at least 13 of That's the right. old main diamond cutters who are actually Indian. So uh, is there any reason for this? I mean, I was just wondering, are uh, diamond cutters in India as good as diamond cutters everywhere else in the world or what? Yeah, I mean, it's been a, a fantastic ride for the uh, and, and transformation for India uh, in terms of diamond cutting, where, you know, it wasn't that long ago where diamonds weren't part of the, the industry here. And De Beers uh, really working with, in the beginning, a small number of, of, of firms developed the origins of the diamond cutting industry here. In the beginning, largely cutting very, very tiny, uh, uh, small diamonds. And what we would say at that time was the lower value end. But, um, you know, things don't stay the same for long uh, in yes, India. That's and true. and they developed, first of all, the scale ability to cut large numbers of diamonds, and then they developed the ability to cut the best. Mm -hmm. So today, you know, over nine in ten diamonds produced in the world or mined in the world are cut and polished uh, in India. Mm -hmm. And some of the most experienced, skillful uh, diamond craftsmen in the world are here cutting, you know, some of the largest and most precious diamonds. So. Um, it really, in many ways, is a f fountain of expertise right. which lives here today. Right. So you bring the diamonds in and uh, it's cut here and then it goes back to your uh, design center in Milan or yeah. how does it well, work? Well, first, you know, the journey, uh, the way in which we focus, we first identify the mines that are eligible because we want to make sure that a forever mark diamond comes from a mine that contributes positively to the community in which it operates. So that's where oh, okay. it starts. And we track it through, and you're right, we sell them then to our, we have 31 in the world, 13 of which are in India, diamond cutters, who are authorized to, to cut and polish and turn the rough diamond into the polished stone. Then it has to go to what we call the Frevmark Diamond Institute, which mm -hmm. is really the most rigorous quality control and selection uh, group in the world using all the technology of De Beers to make sure that only beautiful diamonds, regardless of the size, but that, 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 that only the beautiful ones uh, can be forever marked. And I, actually something today like 1% of the world's diamonds are in effect eligible for the inscription. So we do that in Antwerp, then they come back to if they're going to India, um, uh, and we work then with the jewelers to create you know, the beautiful designs that those forever marked diamonds will sit in. So it's a long process and it's pretty rigorous, but, you know, again, our goal at the end of it is to make sure that if you own a diamond with the forever mark, uh, you know, you're, you're going to be able to be proud all of your life that you have it and hopefully your, your grandchildren as well. And great grandchildren as well. Indeed. S Stephen, it's been absolutely fascinating talking with you. I appreciate your and time. No, I've enjoyed the very, conversation. Very, very much Thank indeed. You. Well, that's all we have time for here on We Connect. But you don't forget that this is the show. You'll meet interesting people. You'll meet people who are fascinating, people who always have a story to tell us. So you don't forget to keep watching us every single week. And don't forget, next week, we'll be right back with you. And until then, you take care. Bye for now.